Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. We will find out today what went wrong with Gensler and the SEC. The potential flight of XRP to $3 and the Supreme Court's rulings are briefly discussed once more. Is it feasible given the present circumstances? We'll have to see. Despite the failure of Ripple and XRP, an expert claims that the head of the SEC learned nothing. The regulatory stance of SEC Chair Gary Gensler has come under fire from renowned analyst Hassan Tyler, who claims that the Commission's chairman has failed to learn from its loss against XRP. US-based legal and regulatory news platform Crypto Law also featured Tyler's comment yesterday. The expert noted that Gensler continues to disregard legal requirements for cryptocurrency regulation, even though the SEC's case against Ripple was heavily defeated. Claim made by SEC and Gensler rejected by court. It should be noted that former SEC Chair Jay Clayton filed the Ripple case on his last day in office, December 22, 2020. Ripple allegedly made $1.3 billion by selling XRP to investors without registering it as a security, according to the SEC. The next year, Gensler was appointed chair of the SEC, and he regulated cryptos with an emphasis on enforcement. For this reason, he began to classify non-Bitcoin tokens as securities. Curiously, Gensler's assertion regarding altcoins took a significant hit in July when the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York determined that XRP is not an investment contract on its own. Also, the court found that programmatic transactions and the majority of Ripple's XRP sales were legal. Going against what the SEC originally asserted. Say, C's defiance of authority has repercussions. Gensler and the SEC should respect the law and refrain from regulating cryptos through enforcement proceedings, given its loss to Ripple. Still, the SEC has persisted in its enforcement-style regulation while being overseen by the Chancellor. The SEC moved against Kraken Exchange last month, accusing them of breaking securities laws. The SEC classified 16 cryptocurrencies, including ADA, as securities in the Kraken case. Algo, Solmatic, and Near Infrared as Tyler points out, there are tangible repercussions to the SEC's defiance of the law. Markets and investors are facing tangible consequences as a result of the growing list of failures. The legitimacy of the United States as an innovation capital destination, as well as other factors, Tyler added. According to the analysts, millions of U.S. investors may suffer losses if concerns about the SEC's credibility are not resolved. Meanwhile, the SEC's biased officials would keep picking winners and losers. Tyler went on to say that the SEC has to alter the way it regulates cryptocurrency. As Tyler stated, the SEC will continue to serve as leader unless the appropriate authorities take action. To emphasize the SEC's role in the developing crypto market, Congress should step in and impose a transparent crypto regulatory framework on the agency. The scenario between the crypto industry, the SEC under Gary Gensler's leadership, and the Ripple case is fascinating and illustrative of the larger regulatory hurdles that cryptocurrencies face. The SEC's loss in the Ripple case is a major setback, to begin with. It draws attention to the fact that cryptocurrency regulations are still in their early stages and are complicated and nuanced. The court's decision that Ripple sales were legal and that XRP is not an investment contract sets a significant precedent. It raises the possibility that the oversimplification and lack of alignment with legal realities of classifying other cryptocurrencies apart from Bitcoin as securities is the case. It appears like Gensler is taking a more enforcement-centric approach, which could provide some challenges, although safeguarding investors and preserving market integrity are paramount. The United States runs the danger of slipping behind other countries in the cryptocurrency industry if its regulatory stance is seen as harsh or too strict, since this can hinder innovation and market growth due to poorly implemented or excessive regulations. Crack and exchange charges, as well as the classification of other cryptocurrencies as securities, are examples of the SEC's recent moves, which demonstrate a tenacity and enforcement-led strategy. Investors and innovators might feel the effects of market uncertainty if this happens. 
At the heart of this regulatory difficulty is the continuing discussion regarding the classification of digital assets as securities. The present environment, where regulatory clarity is somewhat hazy, can cause confusion and impede the growth of the U.S. as a hub for crypto innovation and investment. This is a larger issue that Hassan Tyler brings up in his comments. We must immediately adopt a balanced strategy. Legislation ought to uphold the security of investors and the soundness of the financial system, all the while fostering creativity and recognizing the distinctive features of various digital currencies. To encourage a more collaborative and organized regulatory climate, this may necessitate changes to the law or a new strategy from the SEC. In conclusion, the SEC's present course of action under Gensler might use some leeway and a better grasp of the dynamic crypto environment, as pointed out by Tyler. To keep the United States a leading innovator in the Bitcoin market, this would be useful in crafting rules that are both progressive and protective. The truth is, though, Gensler is as obstinate as a sheep. It's unacceptable that he seems to be acting out of a sense of personal hurt after suffering some kind of injury in the crypto realm. Maybe his own ignorance caused him to lose money in the cryptocurrency market, and now he is seeking vengeance on everyone involved. If the Supreme Court orders you to slow down, dude, you should probably just find another partner. Though I fail to grasp its meaning, perhaps there is some hidden meaning, I suppose only time will reveal it. Now let's move on to the next breaking news, the Supreme Court's risk that will cause XRP's price to skyrocket 500% to $3 in a tweet that will have people thinking. The name is Stuart Alderon. The chief legal officer of Ripple Labs reiterated an important point made in today's Wall Street Journal. His tweet expertly draws attention to the recent string of Supreme Court decisions that have gone against the SEC illuminating the changing legal landscape in which Ripley finds himself in opposition to the regulating body. This excerpt from a prestigious national magazine highlights the wider ramifications of their continuing legal dispute by illuminating the complex legal terrain that Ripple traverses. Last month, CNF revealed an important development, the SEC and BlackRock are expecting XRP and Bitcoin prices to fall significantly due to considerations for ETF approval. Ripples may be engaging in a strategic market play by postponing their initial public offering IPO, in the hopes of acquiring assets at a discount before the anticipated market rebound, this might be particularly true if their legal trip is successful. The strategic legal battle between Ripple and the SEC, which has the potential to be won by the Supreme Court, might lead to a significant increase in the market value of XRP. A successful outcome at this stage might cause XRP's value to skyrocket, potentially reaching the $3 goal, a 500% gain. A cascade the unfolding story of the SEC, there have been several developments in the narrative of SEC versus Ripple. In a complicated legal struggle, the SEC is dropping individual lawsuits against Ripple's senior executives and CEO Brad Garland, and the houses are prepared to take the case all the way to the Supreme Court. These changes have an impact on Ripple's day-to-day -day operations and could indicate major changes in the mechanics of the cryptocurrency market, particularly in relation to the expected spike in price to $3. I find the stewards' mention of the recent verdicts against the SEC by the Supreme Court to be quite interesting. This finding could signal a change in judicial outlook towards a more sophisticated understanding of securities regulations, especially in relation to cryptocurrency. This might establish a standard for the regulation and treatment of other cryptocurrencies, making it an important moment for the crypto industry. The expected value of XRP is $3, a 500% increase. It is hypothetical, but not without merit, to assume that Ripple will win in court. If the Supreme Court rules in Ripple's favor, it could signal less regulatory risk for cryptocurrencies, which could boost investor confidence and drive up the price of XRP. This is especially true in the highly unpredictable cryptocurrency market. Nevertheless, it is important to exercise caution with this confidence. Both the Bitcoin market and court disputes are fraught with complexity and a high degree of unpredictability. Further complicating matters is the previously stated expectation of market corrections due to ETF approval considerations.
It also implies that major institutional actors are keeping a careful eye on these changes and responding accordingly. Personal lawsuits against Ripples are being dropped. It is noteworthy that executives and CEO Brad Garland are prepared to take the case to the Supreme Court. The confidence and readiness to oppose the SEC's approach to crypto regulation are indicated by these moves by Ripples. This might affect the cryptocurrency market as a whole in significant ways. Finally, the regulatory hurdles that the cryptocurrency industry is seeing are reflected in the Ripple vs. SEC story. The importance of establishing transparent legal frameworks that address both the unique characteristics of cryptocurrencies and the necessity to safeguard investors is highlighted. The future of regulation and market dynamics in the cryptocurrency business will be profoundly affected by the result of this legal dispute, especially if it makes it to the Supreme Court. I merely have this viewpoint. I am not persuading anyone to make a purchase or trade. Just take stock of the issue and decide for yourself what to do, all I'm doing is pointing you in the right way. While Bitcoin is once again consolidating and gaining strength between 39,239 and 800, let's examine the chart we have today. Now we may examine XRP's actions. Following yesterday's successful breakout of two key resistance levels at 0.6177 and 0.6204, consolidation above these levels, and further short liquidity accumulation from the highs, we completed the takeover at 0.6297-0.6336. Regrettably, it can only be done using candle shadows. Following that, we re-entered the 4-hour timeframe and retested the fundamental support level between 0.6 and 0.4, which is in line with the large volume shelf. We then progressed downwards. Although this is a regional issue, it struggles with upward advances, generally. Currently, we are in a large apartment, but I believe the exit is close by, and it will be quite impulsive. Price action is pulling the structure upwards, and we can observe rising lows in this area. The current state of affairs on XRP is precarious, with objectives at 0.6513, 0 0.6639, 0 0.6745, 0 0.6944, 0 0.7166, and so on. Stay alert. Pay close attention to the levels. An update will be provided tomorrow. Everything will fall into place flawlessly if you wait until the highs come before you plunge in. I hope you've enjoyed today's brief update, has the potential to reach the highest court in the land. Will the SEC maintain its current regulatory stance or make any changes? If the matter goes to trial, will XRP price skyrocket by 500%? Respond to this post below. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.